Hello everyone. Kaisho Deneri. I'm Nancy Zubiri with the website Euskal Caseta, and I'm here on the Basque Block today in Boise, Idaho. This boarding house is truly a gem. The Cyrus Jacobs Uberuaga boarding house in the middle of the Basque Block is the oldest brick house in Boise. In 1910, it became a Basque boarding house run by three different Basque families. The purchase of the house by Adelia Garo Simplot in 1983 was the beginning of the preservation of the Basque history on the block. When I went inside, I was told to look for the Prohibition Hole, a secret hiding place where the owners used to keep the liquor they served their boarders during the Prohibition days. It's a fun treasure hunt. And if you like our video, please subscribe. The block is chock full of fascinating information about the Basques, including this map of former Basque boarding houses in the area, these sidewalk etchings of classic Basque songs, and sidewalk circles with last names of immigrant families that settled in Idaho. Here's information about carvings sheep herders left on aspen trees in the mountains. This is the only Basque museum in the United States. This small museum in the middle of the block welcomes visitors from all over the world who want to know more about the Basques, their culture, and their fascinating language, Euskara. I was lost trying to get to Madrid in the winter and through this part of Spain where the people were so wonderful I fell madly in love with these people. This was 1960 when they couldn't speak their language or any of that. I didn't know who they were. I thought they were just nice northern Spaniards. Then I moved to Boise, Idaho and after a while I found out that those were the people I had fallen in love with. The museum provides changing exhibits about Basque culture like this sheep camp exhibit that shows visitors what life was like for the immigrants during their first years working as sheep herders. Next door to the museum is the Anduisa Hotel and Fronton, another historic building dating back to 1914. This building is usually closed to the public, but if you're lucky, you can catch a glimpse of some local players carrying on this traditional Basque sport. Sometimes they play handball, but other times they use a paddle in a version called pala. It was built by the Anduisa family as a boarding house with rooms alongside the court. The first Basque restaurant on the block was Bar Guernica. The building was slated to be turned into a parking lot when local Basque Dan and Sotegi opened the pub in 1991, styling it after bars in the Basque country. Eventually, he passed it on to employee Jeff May. How long have you owned the restaurant? Uh, I bought it in 2008 from uh, Dan and Sotegi. And what are you cooking there? Uh, we're throwing up some chicken. I got a chorizo for this gentleman to go. Uh, look at the fries. Looks delicious. The mural behind Bar Guernica facing South Capitol Boulevard includes significant Basque characters and symbols, such as the Oinkari dancers, accordionist Jim Gisoro, weightlifter Jose Luis Arrieta, and the sheep camp. Let's head down the block now past Bardenay, a popular restaurant and distillery, to the Basque Market. The Basque Market was also started by Dan and Sotegi, who ran a catering business out of the small shop. Tony Agurin and his wife Tara have owned it since 2006, and they're famous for the delicious paella Tony makes right in front of the shop twice a week. The market sells many goods imported from the Basque country. So, what is it about the Basque Block that's so special? Mm, I think one of the things is it's, it's safe. Um, you come on the Basque Block and, and everything's just kind of calm and safe. Everyone's here to have a good time, but a good culturally good time. I do think that some of it is the multi-generation. So you have a festival, you have a, a dance, and you've got amumas and achiches, so grandmas and grandpas, you've got little kids running around, you've got everyone in the middle, and everyone is um, having fun together, talking together, everyone knows each other, or if I don't know you directly, I know your grandmother, or I know someone, and so everyone's, everyone's um, watching, everyone's protecting, everyone's having a good time together. So um, on any given day, do you know a lot of people here on the basketball? Yeah. I think I know my fair share, yeah. And then uh, and then spending time, I make the paes out here twice a week. 
Um, as I'm standing out here, I make everyone say hi to me. They walk by and I say hi, because you're on the Basque Block. It's back to that, it's friendly, we're a community. Someone walks by and they're, especially if they're not looking at me or whatever, and I, I'm like, hey, how's it going? And force them to say hi, because I think on this block, we are a community. The building on the corner is the restaurant Le Cuona. During the 1900s, it was known as the Chico Club and was part of a Basque boarding house run by the Balaustegui family for many years. General Manager Travis Wright gives us a little bit of the current history. The building has been around since 1932 um, and Jose Maria Artiach, I believe, purchased it in the 1990s and then has been running it from a, as a restaurant since 2005. Hi, my name is Asiel Garcia. I'm a chef here at Lecuona. I love working uh, at Lecuona, at the Basque Block. I love giving to the Basque community. I love cooking. Um, I enjoy very much doing it so. And uh, yeah, mostly being part of the community. It's, it's a great thing. Le Cuona is a large restaurant with two floors serving traditional Basque food. They still rent some rooms in the adjacent hotel building in a throwback to its old boarding house days. It's a great location considering you're in the middle of downtown Boise, but it can be noisy on Friday and Saturday nights. Across the street from Le Cuona is the Basque Center. This building, home to the Basque social club Euskal Dunac, was originally constructed by members of the club in 1949 although it's been modernized and expanded several times since then. This is where local Basques have been coming for years, for club dinners, dance practices, and drinks with friends. Welcome to the center. This part, this room that we're in is the bar area. And if you follow me, we're going to the ballroom. So this is our ballroom for hosting all sorts of events. And how long have you been working here? Uh, a little over 30 years. You also might want to visit a couple places just a short walk away. The Star Hotel at 512 West Idaho Street dates back to 1903 and is on the National Register of Historic Places. And then there's Ansot's Chorizos, owned by Dan and Sodigi, who founded two of the restaurants on the Basque Block. With his wife and daughter, he runs this popular restaurant that specializes in homemade Basque sausage, better known as chorizo. Maite <laughs>